I think there's a, still a lot of positive sentiment sitting around that AI story, and, and clearly it's still in play with the uh, with the earnings overnight. But uh, my my take is that the the Fed may not be able to play ball to really help that sentiment persist over over the near term. The, the discussion in the minutes overnight suggesting that rates will stay higher for longer, and in fact some discussion about maybe having to hike again. But this is really important because services inflation has been sticky. Uh, markets had really got ahead of themselves pricing in deep rate cuts this year, uh, and the Fed perhaps might just put the handbrake a little bit on, on that sentiment as we look out over the next six months or so. How concerned are you right now about the inflation outlook as it stands, and is it ultimately impacting your investment decisions? I, I think it's right to be a little concerned here because services inflation just isn't coming down as quickly as the Fed would like. Uh, and the Fed is saying that rates are restrictive, policy is restrictive, but the evidence on the inflation side, at least, is, uh, isn't there. And you marry that with some clear evidence of parts of the economy slowing, retail sales, consumer spending, increases in defaults and delinquencies and bankruptcies in the US. Uh, all up, this is not a very positive outlook. And, and Jamie Dimon did mention stagflation there. I think that's a very... Uh, a, a very worrying scenario if that were to come out, or even just the winds of stagflation. So overall, it, it does leave us cautious on the outlook. We're, we're not looking to taste equity market rallies here. I think it's time to, to perhaps take a little bit of risk off the table and build some resilience into portfolios.